What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today is another episode of Chasing the Best Work Footwear. So I'm going over the one million step update on the Rock Rooster Wedge Sole Boots. If you're interested in what I have to say, well, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, this is going to be quick, down, and dirty. Uh, this review is a long time coming. I've had these boots for about 60 days now. I've worn them for a total of 53 days, and I've put a million steps into them. So the first thing I'm going to say about these Rock Rooster boots is they've been absolutely comfortable, no questions asked, from the very first day. So I really, really like that their uh, leather is light, and it's very thin. Um, it's it's not very, it's not compromising thin, but it's thin and they are not hot whatsoever. So uh, it has been obviously summertime when this video is being aired and all of the uh, wear that I've had on these have been in hot temperatures above 80 degrees. The working outside and my feet really don't sweat in them. So I'm really impressed with how easily my feet are kept cool in these and they really don't overheat like an insulated boot would. So I really, really like that they're a nice thin boot. So going over the sole, um, I have started to see a little wear on the toe and on the heel. It's just how I walk. Um, so I'm starting to get a little wear around the heel. Um, I foresee that, you know, that'll probably last me about five million steps is what I estimate there. So it's a very nice sole. Um, I haven't had any problems with slipping or on uh, wet surfaces, slipping around and sliding. So that makes for a nice, comfortable and safe boot. So the front of the boot is probably taking the brute of most of the stuff uh, from kicking doors or, um, you know, rubbing up against brick and, you know, hardscape stuff like that, um, even to driving in the gaiters and, you know, just all around wearing them. I'll roll in a picture here of the toes, but they're holding up quite well. So at $118 for this pair of boots, it is by all means uh, a very, very good value. So I definitely think they are more comfortable than my Timberland Pro Gridworks. They are uh, more comfortable than my Thorough Goods. It's crazy to say that, um, that these are more comfortable than the Thorough Good Mock Toes, but they just are. So I have put about maybe almost 2 million steps in my Thoroughgood mock toes, and I feel like they still need broken in. These felt comfortable from the very, very beginning. So one thing I'm gonna say bad about these boots is I'm not really a big fan of the laces. So the laces, I'm not sure, I'm not an overall technical kind of guy, but the laces just, uh, they seem to be too slick, so they come untied very, very easily. And they don't necessarily always stay in the eyelets up here when you lace them up on your foot. Um, so around your ankle, it always for some reason is bumping off and they come untied. So, you know, that, that's, a, that's probably a thing where I could tie them a little tighter, but it's the overall point of the matter is that they come untied very easily. So with a different lace, um, something that would match a boot, they would be a 10 out of 10. So I've been really impressed with this company. Um, I highly recommend that you go out and get some. Um, I'll put a link to these in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Go over to their website. They have all kinds of different, uh, uh, different things from hiking boots to uh, other wedge-soled boots. So there is something out there for you. I'd really like to try some of their slip-on boots um, for you know, some muddy work or, or things like that in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. You know, at $118, the value is really there. You know, they they come well under a pair of Thorough Goods or a pair of Timberlands, um, and they're cheaper than Wolverine or Red Wing. So they're definitely a good boot for the money. The value is there. I'm gonna give them two thumbs up. Uh, go out and get you a pair, check them out. Uh, 
If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, I'd appreciate your subscription. And if you found value in my content, well, I guess that earned my subscription. So I'll see you guys in the next video.